hello friends welcome to my channel the invisible maths teacher so today i am going to introduce you a new topic from the chapter tangents that is tangents and angles okay so here you can see a circle and we already studied that the angle between a radius and tangent is always 90 degree okay so here this is the center of the circle and here is one radius and here is another radius and if you draw 90 degree here like this a tangent and a tangent here like this touching here at this point and this point let it be a and b and this point b c okay then this is all of center of the circle and i can mark this point as r and this point as also r and we know that ac and bc are tangents okay so the angle between r and t is 90 degree so i am marking here 90 degree and 90 degree what is this o a c b i can write o a c b is a quadrilateral because it has four sides quadrilateral now look here what is the sum of these two opposite sides of this angle or, or sorry opposite angles this angle plus this angle we have 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 degree and we know for a quadrilateral the sum of the angles must be 360 degree then what will be the some of the angles of these two opposite angles yes they will also be 180 degree so i can write angle o a c and angle o b c is equal to 90 degree each okay then what is angle angle a o b a o b plus angle ACB that is also equal to 180 degree that is we got a kite shape see this is a kite shape like this these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal that is this is our RR and TT so we have this 90 degree and this is 90 degree 180 degree and this angle and this angle is also 180 degree understood so if the opposite angles are supplementary then we can say this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral understood that is if opposite angles are supplementary supplementary then o a c b is a cyclic quadrilateral because you have this opposite angle as 180 degree and this opposite angle sum also as 180 degree and 180 plus 180 is 360 degree yes children this is one very important construction question draw a circle of radius 3 centimeter and draw an equilateral triangle covering that circle okay draw a circle of radius 3 centimeter and draw an equilateral triangle that is first we have to draw a circle of radius 3 centimeter i'm drawing a first we are drawing a rough figure here now a 3 centimeter rough circle and draw an equilateral triangle covering that circle means you have to draw a triangle like this see such that this triangle is an equilateral triangle so we know the complete angle of this triangle will be 60 degree like this okay then this is the center of the circle and if the triangle is covering the circle means it is touching at one point this is known as point of contact so there are three point of contact so this side is a tangent to the circle this side is a tangent to the circle and this side is a tangent to the circle and if there is tangent we want radius so this is radius perpendicular understood 90 degree here also 90 degree and here also 90 degree 
so we have now three kite shapes so i'm marking them like this that is this is radius this is also radius and this is radius so if i'm just considering this part what is this part tangent and a tangent don't write all these things in your notebook uh, in, in the rough figure okay fine you can mark no problem this is tangent this is tangent this is tangent and here also it is tangent so here we know for a kite shape for however be the kite it is so r t r t angle between r and t is we studied it is 90 degree what should be the sum of this angles yes it must be what should be the sum of these two angles it should be 180 so if this is 60 degree we know this angle is 120 degree similarly moving on to this kite we know these two angles are 90 90 180 so 60 and 120 is 180 degree now moving on to this kite shape rt between rt 90 90 then we have some of this angle plus this angle also 180 degree so this angle is 120 degree so let us see how we can draw this figure for that i am going to first draw a circle of radius 3 centimeters so you have to take a circle with the radius 3 centimeter here okay take 3 centimeter on the scale and draw a circle so i am drawing a circle i am drawing a larger circle okay because for your understanding okay okay here is your circle okay now what you do is you just mark the center and just you draw a line like this and mark it as 3 centimeter 3 centimeter this line now we know it is 180 degree 120 degree so what you have to do is you take the protractor as this is the line you have to take this one as your baseline just see how i'm keep placing the protractor exactly placed like this and mark your 120 degree so you have to start from zero from this side i am moving see like this i am moving so i have to start from zero up to 120 120 is here then you just draw a line okay then now what you do is first the protractor was like this now what you do is you just simply rotate like this and place it exactly like this now here also now i want the angle to be measured in this direction this direction so 0 1 uh, 0 10 20 30 so my 120 is here and i'm going to draw so these are called 120 degree just you can mark it on the figure 120 now we want to draw the tangent so how it's easy is you can see this 90 degree line no 90 degree line you just place that 90 degree line exactly on this line because we want t shape like this see we want t shape so here is our t shape on your protractor so just you place this 90 degree line like this exactly and then you just draw draw the line okay then here also same thing now here i want t like this so i am keeping my protractor here and going to draw that okay then I want t like this so i'm keeping my protractor here exactly and you have to join the line like this. and then what you can do is you can extend the lines using your um scale okay see just you extend the lines so here you will get a perfect equilateral triangle see we got the equilateral triangle and you can mark it as a b c p q r and mark this angle as 60 degree 60 degree and 60 degree and please in your question you can underline this line covering that circle okay yes children now here you have another question that is to draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter and draw a triangle of angles 40 degree 60 degree with all sides touching the circle so what you do is first you 
underline this part all sides touching the circle touching means this is from the chapter tangents so first let us draw a rough figure here uh, so uh, my figure has a circle first which is uh, of radius 2.5 centimeter and then just draw a line like this okay now we have a triangle here very rough figure first we have to draw okay this is this is the figure and uh, we know this is one radius and this is another radius and one angle is given as 40 degree triangle angle okay draw a triangle of angles 40 degree and this angle is 60 degree so 40 plus 60 is 100 so with this 100 you have to add 80 degrees so this will be your 80 degree this is 2.5 now again we have a kite shape here that is r r T, T. so when R R T T comes opposite angles must be 180 degree so if this is 40 degree you have here 140 degree this is 80 degree means here you will have 100 degree this is 60 degree means here you will have 120 degree understood 140 plus 40 180 80 plus 100 180 60 plus 120 180 and you can give some names for this uh, figure like this a b c and p q r so let us draw the figure so for that first i am drawing a circle okay. the circle is drawn mark the center of the circle and the radius must be 2.5 with 2.5 you have to draw the uh, circle okay and mark straight line 2.5 okay then you have to take your protractor we can start from here again first 140 degree so see my line is like this so i am keeping on this side 140 degree 0 10 20 up to 140 degree so your 140 is here join this one and first you mark 140 so my protractor was here like this now i'm going to rotate my protractor like this and place here exactly now what is the next angle we have to measure 100 degree again from here 0 to uh, 100 degree 100 is here so mark this straight line here and write it as 100 so this one will be automatically 120 degree you don't have to do anything now we have to draw the um, 90 degree triangle so here the shape is like this so i want t shape like this i'm taking my protractor okay and then just keep a straight line exactly 90 degree and draw the line like this keep it there next here is my line down so i have to keep my protractor like this okay see i have to keep like this exactly and you can mark your angle triangle uh, line like this next my line is like this like this so i want to keep my protractor like a t shape here keep here and then just you join this and then join this line so now taking a scale you can complete the figure here it is so we got the figure like this see this is our figure and then you have to mark here 140 means here it is 40 here it is 60 and here it is 80 and you can give the names also for this fig for the figure like this okay so hence we got triangle abc now moving on to page number 166 question number two here you can see one question that is in the picture the small blue triangle is equilateral triangles that is this blue triangle is an equilateral triangle and the sides of the large red triangle are tangents to the circumcircle of the small triangle at its vertices that is here is a larger triangle and the sides of these triangles are tangents to the circle and it is also touching the vertices of the smaller triangle understood this red triangle sides are tangents to the circle and they are touching the three vertices of the smaller triangle the question is to prove that the large triangle is also equilateral and its sides are double that of the small triangle we know this one is an equilateral triangle so we have to prove that this 
larger triangle is also an equilateral triangle and also that the side of this triangle is double that of the side of this smaller triangle so let us see how we can do this one so for that first i am drawing a rough figure a triangle or you can do first you draw a circle and then now you draw a triangle here and then you can draw tangents from this triangle like this extend it extend it and here also yes so now here you got the figure okay so here we have already that the inner angles the as the triangle you, know, you can give some names also for the triangle like this a b c and d e f okay here we know a b c triangle is an equilateral triangle so all the angles are 60 degree so i'm marking here 60 60 and 60 okay now we studied in chapter 2 that if the circles are passing through the vertices of the circle if this angle is 60 degree then from the center what will be the angle made by this chord yes if this is 60 degree this angle will be 120 degree double of it so here i am drawing a center and i am joining all these points so look here if this angle is 60 degree on the major arc this angle is double this becomes 120 degree similarly if you take this one as the code and this is 60 degree then the angle made here at the center is also 120 degree now if you consider this one as the code and this is the angle made on the major arc 60 degree then the angle here at the center will be 120 degree this is completed so inner triangle is completed now moving on to the outer triangle here outer triangle means tangent is there this is a first second chapter because the circle is subscribe uh, circum circle is there see circum circle is there but now our question is regarding the tangent part so here you can see radius r r t and t so opposite angles are 180 r r t t 180 so if this is 120 degree this angle is also uh, this angle is 60 degree making 180 degree now here you have r r t t so sum of opposite angles must be 180 so 120 and 60 now this is also r r t t so r r t t 180 degree if this angle is 120 degree this angle is 60 degree hence we got triangle d e f triangle d e f is also an equilateral triangle this is the first part of the question now moving on to the second uh, sorry now the continuation is there we have to prove that uh, the sides are double okay for that i am just taking this triangle and this triangle okay upper triangle and lower triangle so we know this is 60 degree this is 60 degree and uh, this is also 60 degree and we got even this angle is 60 degree understood now we are going to study uh, later on from one point from one outside point if you draw a tangent from one point if you draw two tangents like this their length will be the same understood from one external point that is on a circle from one external point from any external point if you draw a tangent like this the length from here to here and the length from here to here will be the same so we can say these two sides are same then what triangle is this it is an isosceles triangle if isosceles triangle is there then what is these two angles they are also equal and they will be 60 and 60 understood so we got the, even the small triangles are also equilateral triangles next if suppose this angle is 4 cm side is 4 cm 
this side is also 4 this side is also 4 so what happens to this side see this two sides are 4 and this side is 4 again if this side is 4 as it is an equilateral triangle this side is also 4 and this side is also 4 so I'm just marking it on the figure here the 4 then this side is also 4 and this is also 4. Similarly, if you take like this, see, like this triangle. Can you see? Here are big two triangles. So, we already got these, this triangle is an equilateral triangle with 4. So, even this also will be an equilateral triangle. So, if this is 4, here also it will be 4. So, I am marking here on the figure 4, 4. Similarly, for this triangle also you will get 4, 4. So can you see something when the sides of the smaller triangle was 4, 4, 4, the sides of the larger triangle became 8, 8, 8, double of the inner triangle. Understood and again I am telling you this point you will be studying further in this chapter itself. So just uh, I just gave you an uh, idea how it happens from one point if you draw two tangents to the circle then the length of that tangents will be the same. Now the second part of the question is to draw this picture with sides of the smaller triangle as 3 cm. So with the sides of this inner triangle must be 3 cm. So what we have to do is first we have to draw an equilateral triangle. So what you do is you measure a 3 cm, 3 cm line and then measure with the compass 3 cm again. And first you complete the equilateral triangle. See I took 3 cm and you first complete the equilateral triangle. Keep the triangle here like this. Compass here and give a cut here. And again here give a cut like this. Okay and complete that equilateral triangle. This is your equilateral triangle. Now we have to draw the circle so we studied in chapter 2 how to draw the circle so for that um, you can use either angle bisector or perpendicular bisector it is up to you so what i am going to do is take this compass take perpendicular bisector more than half and give a cut up and down up and down similarly this side also give a cut up and down and then you just join that line very lightly that is enough very lightly okay then similarly take for any other line okay i'm taking for this line i'm changing the compass measurement now take more than half give a cut up and down somewhere here and here then Keep the protractor here and give a cut here and give a cut here also. Okay and then join it. So you will get one meeting point here. Keep there. Now keep the compass here and measure this one as your radius. Measure this one as your radius and you complete the circle. You can see that circle. See my circle is passing through the set through all the points see it is passing through this point you can see that it is passing through this point and it is also passing through this point understood so i'm drawing the circle okay now what you do is you just join these points uh, which are the points now here radius this is also radius of the circle see this is radius of the circle radius of the circumcircle i can say okay this is also radius of the circumcircle now what we want yes we want our uh, triangle larger triangle yes or wrong so for that what to do again take your protractor now 90 degree tangent is there no the outer triangle sides are tangents so we want this type so this is my line so i am keeping my protractor here exactly and drawing a line now keep the protractor here like this exactly 90 degree 
and a drawer line now here also keep the protractor exactly 90 degree and a drawer line now what you do is you complete the triangle sides see one like this here and here also hence we got here hence we got the complete figure with the inner equilateral triangle of 3 cm each then circumcircle then the tangent triangle okay and then you can give the name like this A B C D E and F so here you can see AB is equal to BC is equal to AC and D suppose they are 3 cm you will be getting DE is equal to EF is equal to DF is equal to 6 cm if there is any small change it doesn't make any difference sometimes you will be getting something like this no problem okay uh, it doesn't make much difference so this is enough for today so thank you